All right, so let's start off in our CRM. This is a demo environment. And so to integrate SharePoint, we'll simply go under advanced settings. And under these settings, we will go to document management. Now to configure SharePoint, there's already a button right here. So we'll go ahead and click that. Now you're going to need a website for SharePoint, which is where basically your documents will be hosted. So to do so, we'll go ahead and click online. Now here you'll be prompted to enter a URL which is basically the URL of the website where all your documents will be hosted on SharePoint. To do so, we'll go back to our CRM and in the apps button, simply click on SharePoint. Here, this is where you'll be able to create a site. So let's just ignore this prompt and click on create site. Um, in our case, we want a collaborative site which where all our teams will add their documents. So we'll click on team site. We'll call it webinar um, for the purpose of this example. And then if you scroll down, you can choose the language of uh, your choice. And we'll go ahead and click next. Here you can add additional owners to the um, SharePoint site. In our case, we'll just simply go ahead and click finish. Now it'll automatically open your, your new SharePoint site. So to copy the URL, you simply have to take it from the address bar. Simply copy and paste it back to the configuration and simply add it to the designated area. And once that's completed, um, you can go ahead and finish. Now that that's created, you'll see that there's also a OneNote integration that has been added. Um, we're not going to do that now. Simply, we are going to configure SharePoint. And so we'll go ahead into document management settings once again. Here you'll see that <clears throat> there is already some items that are pre-selected and we'll go ahead and uncheck them and only keep account and opportunity, which is for the example that we want to achieve. You'll have to enter your SharePoint site once again. So simply paste it in the box here and click next. And here you'll be prompted to um, give the folder structure some uh, premises. So we'll simply click on account. And basically what it means is this is how your folders are going to be created once documents are copied to SharePoint. So in this example, we're going to select account. So every document that is um, integrated to SharePoint will then create a folder with the appropriate account uh, name. So if we were to choose any other entity, uh, then it would be based off of that entity. So what that means is if I have a document under the opportunity that is associated to an account under SharePoint, I'll find this document not under the opportunity name, but under the account name. So this is really important because this is how you'll be organizing your documents as they um, integrate between programs. So between soft, the SharePoint and Dynamics 365 app. And once you click next, you you should see the success status um, <clears throat> for both your entities to which you've integrated SharePoint and we'll click on finish. And that's how you integrate SharePoint uh, to Dynamics 365. So we'll go ahead and now look at security roles that will enable you to use SharePoint. 
So we'll go under settings, security roles, and we'll select a random uh, role. We'll go under core records, and the two that you want to look for are document location and SharePoint site. So document location allows you to uh, import documents. Whereas SharePoint site, this will allow you to view SharePoint sites, but also create SharePoint sites. And now we'll look at uh, what it looks like in the CRM. So we'll go ahead and go back to our Dynamics 365 and we'll enter an account. From here, you'll be able to uh, upload a document or even <clears throat> once the document has been uploaded, view it in SharePoint. So we'll go ahead and click a random account and we'll click on related and click on documents. Here we'll click upload and we'll simply upload a random document to this account. Now, once you click on the uploaded document, it will open it in the appropriate Office 365 app. But if you select it and click open location, you'll be able to open the SharePoint site. And there you have it. Your SharePoint is now integrated to your Dynamics 365 CRM. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact Justice Off. And you can find us at the link under the description. Thank you very much. Have a great day.